Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be about the Nikon FA and the five reasons why I think you should get one. Okay, so this is my Nikon FA, which I've owned for a little while. Um, I absolutely love this camera, so I just had to do this video on the five reasons why you should get one. So reason number one is it is the most advanced SLR Nikon ever made. It's uh, got matrix metering, you've got aperture priority, you've got shutter priority, you've got program modes. Um, you can just change it, hang on, you can just change it there like that. You've got fully manual. This camera does everything. It's like a Nikon FE2 on steroids really, or FM2. It does everything those cameras can do and much, much more. Uh, for example, if you were to set it to uh, shutter priority like I have there where it's on S and you were to say I want to shoot at uh, 125th of a second like that, um, put the aperture on the maximum aperture there, then the camera will work out uh, in order to shoot 125th of a second it will work out automatically what aperture to shoot in order to get the correct exposure. which. Other cameras do shutter priority, but what this camera will do is if it can't find an aperture that would get correct exposure at 1 25th of a second, um, after it's exhausted all possibilities, the computer inside will automatically then just change the shutter speed fractionally in order to get correct exposure at a shutter speed um, that's available and an aperture that's available. So what this basically means is um, when push comes to shove, if the settings you've picked can't get a correct exposure then it will adjust them very slightly in order to get that exposure for you which because it's so advanced means it's almost impossible to mess up and get a badly exposed uh, image with this camera because it's that advanced and not many cameras can do that. Number two uh, as I kind of mentioned there was the matrix metering. This was the first SLR to have proper evaluative matrix metering um, rather than center weighted, so it looks at everything in the frame. Um, it's a backlit subject, uh, a bright light. Uh, it'll, it'll factor that in in the corners of the frame as well as what's in the center in order to take the photo uh, and expose it correctly. Which you again, 90% of the cameras that are coming out at this time and all the ones that Nikon were making before this were all center weighted. So if you were taking a photo of somebody and they were backlit you'd have to dial in a couple of stops of extra exposure manually yourself in order to get a uh, correctly exposed shot. Well, with this camera, with its matrix metering, uh, which is which was very advanced at the time, um, you know, it, it, essentially what they said at the time was with center-weighted metering, 85% of the time you would get a good shot that was correctly exposed. But with uh, this matrix metering, it's 95%. It's almost impossible to mess up the exposure with matrix metering. And that combined with uh, what I said under the first reason to get this camera, how advanced it is with the computer inside it, where it will um, help you if the settings that you've put in can't create a correct exposure, it will step in and make sure that that uh, frame is exposed correctly. Those two things combined mean that with this camera you're guaranteed to get correctly exposed shots. Number three is its price. This was such an advanced camera that in 1986 uh, when I looked at uh, the pricings for it, it was £398, which to put that in perspective, the FM2, which now goes for a lot more money than this camera on the used eBay kind of market, um, the FM2 only cost 244 versus the £398 that this cost. Well these days, I mean I picked this up for 140 you can pay double that for an FM2, and I think the reason is that people want sort of fully mechanical cameras, but the FA is a far superior camera in every regard. Um, you know, the batteries last for years, so okay, it's not uh, fully mechanical, but you know, you just carry around a couple of spare batteries if you ever need them, but they'll last years. And in every other regard, this camera is um, a better camera, really, um, in my opinion. Um, and yet, you can pick it up for half the price. It's almost like. Uh, a really well kept secret that the FA is such a fantastic camera um, really this should be going for uh, on the used market today a lot more than an FM2 by all rights uh, so it's a bargain as well if you can get one in good condition uh, number that was number three number four is 
it not only can use its own dedicated MD15 motor drive, which was designed for the FA, um, but it's also completely compatible, the more common and far less expensive MD12 motor drive. The MD12 motor drive was designed for the FE and the FM, and the FE2 and the FM2. And that'll work on this camera as well. So unlike a lot of uh, Nikon SLRs, you can use uh, two different motor drives uh, with this camera, which is a good plus. And they both uh, shoot at between 3.2 and 3.5 frames per second, which is really handy. Um, and number five is, uh, a bit more personal, but I, I just think the looks. I think it's a great looking camera. Um, it's got some other kind of bits and pieces on it that, like if we compare it to an F3, you can see how similar these two cameras look. Um, it's just a little bit smaller, but it's really similar, very similar grip. Film advance, um, viewfinder, it's not removable on the FA, but I mean, in looks wise, it's a really similar camera to the F3, which is a great looking camera. So I just think it's a stunning looking camera, just like the, uh, the F3, but you would pay a hell of a lot more for an F3, probably twice as much, if not more, for an F3. Uh, than you would for an FA. So, and also the you know the FA is, is far more advanced than the F3. Um, you know the build quality of the F3 is going to be a little bit better because um, that was the pro model camera in its day, but um, only very slightly. And and you know with the FA you just it can do a lot more. It's got that shutter priority, aperture priority program, um, and it's got the matrix metering. Which you know if you think really if you want to get matrix metering around this era. The next camera that kind of had that was the F4. So you're getting uh, something that's incredibly similar to the F3, but with the F4's matrix metering. Um, so looks wise, it, and you know, it's a combination of two fantastic cameras, really, the F3 and the F4. And that's my fifth reason why you should get an FA. Okay, so I wouldn't be remiss if I didn't say a few things that are the small negatives. So, Kind of the only small negatives really are it seems to be an all metal camera, but actually, uh, this top prism on the black models is a reinforced polycarbonate, and on the um, chrome models, and if I can say this correctly, it was an acrylon uh, <laughs> an, an acrylon trial uh, butadine uh, styrene uh, ABS for short, yeah, but basically, they both had like a a kind of plastic polycarbonate uh, prism on them, which houses all the advanced electronics that exist in this camera. Um, and with, say, an F3 or uh, an FE, that would be uh, a metal uh, top on it. But that, I mean, that's really clutching at straws. That's, that's about the only thing that um, I could find to say negatively about it. Um, and um, sort of maybe a final thing would be when you're getting these always try and get one that's got the grip because um, I see some that are missing this grip um, because it can be removed with a little uh, coin just turning this here loads of them are missing the grip you want to get one with a grip because trying to find one of these grips on its own for sale is like hen's teeth um, and my one was missing I've covered up with a bit of electrical tape mine was missing the uh, mine's missing the cover uh, where the uh, motor drive would attach. Um, so if I just show you how that looks. So that's how it looks normally, but um, you should really have a little uh, motor drive cover that looks a bit like this one, but smaller, that covers that up. And you want to try and get one that's got that as well if you can, because those on their own are selling for sort of 15 pounds. But other than that, if you can get one with the grip and with that, then you're good to go really. There's very little to not love about this camera. Um, so that was it. That was my five reads to get an icon FA. Thank you very much. If you're enjoying these videos, like and share.